like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Since Holly wrong, kicked a hole in the game before multiple views by Tommy gone. Gotta be strong when you're popping the paparazzi phone. Slider singing in your local precinct like He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. I feel like the shit I had was super fire. It's URL material by far. And I ain't one wasted on that too. All of these are also um Caps, now I'm just taking you into my thought process as a man, because I'm not afraid to show you who I am. I'm just taking you through my pure thought process. I, I, This shit ain't from, I don't want rap here. This shit too good. I don't want really rap like this. But he ain't going to see that, because he ain't, I, no disrespect to the bat, nigga I'm battling, but he ain't nobody I would deem, you know, he, he'll battle there. He, he's just fine there. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too. I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. <laughs> yo, your honor. Yo, 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 your honor. This shit. <laughs> I'm reading about. <laughs> oh my god! Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Whew, where would I be without y'all, man? Salute to my brother Showtime SP. Scrap my partners over at Fox 5. Like I told y'all, I got my man Geechee Gotti in the building. We will be having some news going down this week. <laughs> but skip all that. Your Honor. See, I don't hear much from Your Honor nowadays. I mean, I see him in a couple of battles here and there. I know you are always trying to peg him to be one of the newer stars, you know what I'm saying, of the league and i saw him in different joints you know what i'm saying he had the the round versus luke castro my clothes look better my hose look better my shoes look better my cut look better my everything look better that went viral and i know he had some ups and downs you know what i'm saying like uh he 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 definitely can get crazy at times but he's never really focused enough because i know people was talking about potentially him versus uh, um uh, uh charlie get out of here Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. And things like that because they're kind of comparable. But let's get to this, man. So shout out to a kid named Jerz. Uh, he's, he's a battle rapper, Philly, Jersey. And uh, he was supposed to be battling, Your Honor. And from what I'm picking up here, it's the second time they were supposed to battle. And it didn't happen. But it's just not just a regular back out. This is crazy. Like, the way this story came to me. Shout out to Floss the Boss, shout out to everybody out there. I had seen screenshots from Angry Fan, salute to Angry Fan and all the things that he does for the battle rap community, the interviews, the, the moments, everything, you know what I'm saying? I was watching an interview from him today with your honor. I couldn't even get five caps. I don't know how you sat up there with this man for how long. How, many, how long did Cap sit up here with this motherfucker, man? This shit was crazy. I couldn't do it. Uh, 32 minutes, you sat up. The nerve of you. <laughs> You know, That's like disrespect. <laughs> Shout out to Caps. He sat here and talked to this nigga for 32 minutes. I could only listen to him for about 3 minutes and 32 seconds. But what I did get in that time. <laughs> the nigga went to an event. Asked his opponent's man for a cigarette and left, dog. Smoke no a whole way, bogey. Way uh, no way, uh, <laughs> This Boy, nigga no really way, went there and asked this man for a whole new port. Surgeon General's warning, smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and may complicate pregnancy. <laughs> you asked him for a port, <laughs> a new port, my nigga, and left? And then, I seen the clip further where you was talking about, you know, uh, you still a smack rapper, you know what I'm saying? So you could fuck over small leagues. This is some of the mentality that some of these guys create, that they could fuck over small leagues and they don't understand that a lot of the small leagues that's out here, they're coming out of their own pockets. The artists are paying these people to battle. They're, they're filming shit with cam with with cell phones. Some of these leagues don't even have cameras. You know what I'm saying? They filming shit with cell phones, trying to get footage together and trying to put battles together and shit like that. And when you guys just come through and fuck them over like this, it doesn't do good for the ecosystem. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of stars and a lot of newer guys that are found from these independent leagues. I first saw Luke Castro on the Independent League. I first saw guys like Swamp on Independent Leagues, Don Marinos, all of these guys, Chesses, the We Go Hards, 
These guys are like, it's like a filtration system. You bring in, you know what I'm saying, the new guy, he battles against somebody with a little name, it helps catapult them, and it helps build careers. When you're doing this shit like this, coming to the battle, showing up, and then getting there, and saying, I just didn't feel like rapping when I got there. Like, what are you doing? Like, are you a professional? Did you feel like getting paid? Because when was it not convenient for you? When you got paid or when you showed up? Like, these niggas is showing up to me. And what's going to happen is, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with one of these niggas. One of these niggas is going to pull one of these moves one day and somebody going to get their ass whooped right there on the spot. Because if you're paying a nigga $1,800, $1,500, $1,000, some of these guys are getting money. You know what I'm saying? You give a nigga 1500 to try to get an opportunity, he show up there playing your face and try to leave. So, so it might not go the way you think it's going to go. So I'm just saying, like, Your Honor, if you're not going to be battling or taking shit serious, y'all niggas shouldn't even be out there. And these are the same leagues that will be like, yo, they want people to come host their events, be at their events, and don't want to pay them. It's like, bro, y'all are paying niggas to do that. Y'all are paying people to do that. The people that will come and do their job, whether it be commentary, hosting, they need to be paid too. This is right. This is the reason why I don't be fooling around going to all these events because it's like you go to these events, niggas want you to come there and just be there, just to be there. And you got artists that are showing up and doing shit like this. Like there should be no backtracking. Like yo, I'm still a smack rapper or whatever the case may be. Like dog, you you y'all allow niggas to run around and do shit like this? Run around, take money from people, run around, not show up, run around, show up to the battle and don't want to battle and leave and all this other shit. Somebody somewhere spent some money on this. Is all I'm gonna say, y'all. Somebody somewhere spent some money for you to come up there and fuck off, you know what I'm saying? And just basically say, I, you know, I got, and this is the second time y'all was supposed, <laughs> this ain't even the first time y'all was supposed to do this. Y'all was supposed to battle before, you probably gave him some other bullshit excuse, and you turned around and did it again. But this is why I really don't be agreeing with the whole uh, payola thing, where you just grab a guy with a name and you pay him some money to battle against you, because they really don't be giving a fuck about y'all. Artists, artists, there's gonna be artists out there. There is a battle rapper that is watching this right now. You better off getting shine off your own grind because when you pay somebody to battle you and they show up and give you some bullshit, it was a battle before where Jack Boy Man was like laughing through the battle and shit like that and he was rapping about the nigga Furry Hat and Furry Gat and Furry... They don't care about y'all. They do not care about y'all or y'all careers. It's just a payday. So you have to know going into it whether it's Jers, whether it's Memphis, whether it's California, whether it's Arizona, whatever you niggas name yourselves nowadays. Whatever you niggas name yourself nowadays, you need to know that going into the battle, they don't give a fuck about you. As long as you know that. Now, if you, if you know that and you willingly pay, then whatever comes out of that is what comes out of that. What don't come out in the wash comes out in the wrench, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, Your Honor, this is some wild shit, man. Like, you... <laughs> you just shut... The nigga, like, his excuses was crazy. He was basically telling Caps, like, you know, I'm not here to debunk anything, or I'm not, I'm, I'm here to say I was wrong, it's not his fault. Bro, don't nobody want to hear that shit? Don't nobody want to hear whose fault it is, who did what, who didn't do this, who didn't do that, when you are on the other side of the coin looking crazy as hell for pulling some shit like that on an independent artist, independent league. When y'all go there, the niggas with the names, y'all the ones that they looking for. How do I know I go when I be at these events? They, they look for us, they look for the people with the names, the people that they see every day, they want to interact with them, they want to see them battle. And then you said some shit like it wasn't a crowd there. How, how? All right. If it's in the hood battle league, who the fuck do you expect the crowd to be? Normally the crowd is the entourages of the people, the homeboys, the, the local star, whoever he is. He could bring 15, 20 people out. But in the venues, you may get 40, 50 people there at max. And that's included in the niggas that's on the card. I have been to places where... The only people that's there is the people that's on the card and they peoples, that's it. But it's there for battle rap. I think you was looking at that shit the wrong way. But the niggas paid you money, you didn't fulfill the objective, and now you look crazy. And I wasn't even really looking into it because I had seen Floss the Boss post yesterday that said that he showed up, asked for a cigarette, and left. And I thought that was so crazy that this is some shit that there's no way that... You know how you hear some shit in life? That'd be too crazy, so when you hear it, there's like, there's no way this shit could be true. That's what I was thinking of the Yana shit. I was like, there's no way this nigga came all the way to a battle rap event, asked the nigga for a bogey, and left. I just could not believe it, you know what I'm saying? You probably smell like rain and cigarettes. You know, when it rains, the niggas who smoke, it smells horrible. You, and niggas who, I don't smoke cigarettes, but the niggas who do, and I have in life. I ain't perfect. I've smoked cigarettes in life, but I currently do not, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't fuck with that shit. But 
That shit smells horrible. Your Honor, what the hell do you got going on? What in the hell? Why do I hear of... <laughs> Why do I... <laughs> Why do I hear about you? <laughs> That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. You know it like I do, Your Honor. This is... I will... I will I subject you to receive this L, my nigga, because there's no fucking way. Yes, the beat up one. I've got another one on the way. Is that, you know what the problem was to get a new one? The 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 actual size pause of it. There were smaller ones pause that I had found when I wanted the the Thor joint. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so I can go, so I can hit niggas with Yana, like Yana, nigga. What the fuck was you thinking about? Showing up to an event accident. <laughs> This is funny as fuck. But anyway, shout out to the subscribers that notification gang. RiceGangClothing.com. I got a couple more orders today. Shout out to everybody that's been ordering the merchandise. Like I said, the best way to support this channel, if you do, is to cop the merchandise. We've been getting a lot of merchandise out. FTK, Feed the Kids. A lot of these slogans and things that's on the merchandise, I came up with y'all. He got smoked. FTK. Sorry I was watching Battle Rap. Uh, these are all stuff that I came up with with my constituents with my brother SP that nobody that knows body so it's kind of like giving back in the sense to the people who actually rock with this but uh shout out to every <laughs> y'all I ain't gonna lie I was laughing before I even fucking cut the before I cut the camera on I was dying laughing listening to the fact <laughs> that you allegedly Showed up to an event, asked a nigga for a cigarette and left. But yeah, that whole smack rapper, I'm a smack rapper, I can fuck over small leagues and I'm still gonna get book shit. That shit is a whack mentality and a whack thought process because at the end of the day, niggas are spending money to get y'all there. I wouldn't spend money to book you because I see the shit that you be doing, but somebody somewhere did. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta keep it honest with them. And shout out to the nigga Jerz, I actually fucks with him. Um, he follows me on Instagram, I follow him too, and I wanna see you continue to do your thing. But this right here, Nasty work.